So I found this archive of old Istanbul photos. And uh, right off the bat, uh, it's found what uh, looks like Tartarian architecture. I've uh, went through... <laughs> I've made it up to about page 60 of 374 um, and pulled out just some interesting photos here. So we'll go go through these, just, just look at some of the architecture and uh, see if it looks like the Tartarians were down in the area of Istanbul. So first of all, you know, it's it, uh, just... Yeah, what I, what I've seen from the like the world fairs and and mud flood type of um, architecture here, you've got the window buried and and maybe they just want to get light into the basement. That's that's one idea, but uh, this one is there'll be a few photos of it. I'll come back to this one later. And most of these are, it'll have something about it down here. So you can kind of have an idea of what you're looking at. And just some of this architecture, you can see these massive buildings like you would see in, the, you know, Chicago or San Francisco from the World Fairs. And elegant architecture like this, this uh, piece right here. A, I thought this one was interesting. He just, you know, nothing too fancy here, but obviously a lot of old ruins. It looks like there's a cemetery here and um, just this massive tower coming up in the background. And something like this is, you know, again, it's it reminds me of what you see at the World Fairs, especially the uh, San Francisco World Fair. And it uh, nice, uh, nice carvings. It looks very similar to what what I would call Tartarian. Now here is, you know, a star fort is. I guess, you know, it looking like a star fort out here. Um, the top of the tower here chopped off. Obviously a very old ruin there. Once again, you know, maybe Greco-Roman, but if you ask me, looks, looks like Tartarian. This one was nothing too special here. Uh, just kind of this archway over here you can see in the um, on this building you know there used to be obviously a wall or a, another part of the building and some kind of archway right here that had gotten filled in this one uh, you know it looks like a United States government building or something with the Eagles on it and it just looks like there's a lid from one of the coffins and uh, it looks like they just you know a lids laying down here on the ground like it's been the place has just been looted you know obviously just dis dis destruction here um, but, th but the lid here threw me off guard I'm not sure what happened over there nice new building looks like you know uh, again the US Capitol building or something along those lines but it, you know, this kind of looks like a palm tree, but uh, up here it looks like it's broken. It's like a stone column that's carved out and it's broken here. You see this just a dinky little ladder over here, and st stones laying around, junk laying in the street. Uh, the statue over here is missing its head. Just interesting, interesting photos here. This is, uh, you know, you've got just ma old ruins, junk lane in the middle of the road. And then you've got the obelisk with what looks like Egyptian hieroglyphs on there. Obviously a, a basement for a building used to be here. And just grazing animals. We've got cows just 
hanging out where there used to be obviously a massive city with this obelisk. And I will take a real quick pause to uh, bring up the um, the Masonic Encyclopedia of Freemasonry here, and where it's talking about Enoch, because it's related. It's possibly related to this obelisk. You'll see in later pictures. There's there's a pair of these, and they're inscribed with these hieroglyphs that look Egyptian. Um, but they might be from Enoch, and I don't know if that's correct or not, but I'll at least take a quick read here. It says that the traditions of Freemasonry closely connect him by history of the institution, and it's they basically are saying that uh, Enoch was a Freemason or started Freemasonry or something along those lines. Enoch introduced the speculative principles into the Masonic Creed and that he originated its exclusive character. One tradition states that he received from God the gift of wisdom and knowledge and God sent him 30 volumes from heaven filled with all the secrets of the most mysterious sciences. They say he was the first to give instruction on the celestial bodies, that he foretold the flood that was to overwhelm his uh, descendants, that would be Noah. Um, that he built the pyramids, engraving thereon figures of artificial instruments and the elements of sciences, fearing lest the memory of man should perish in the general destruction or in the coming flood. So here is where we have the connection between Enoch and essentially Egyptians, that where he says that he uh, built the pyramids, and engraved thereon the figures. So that would, of course, line up with the Egyptian hieroglyphs. And he is also attributed with the invention of astronomy. Enoch was the first who invented books and writing. He taught men the art of building cities. He discovered the knowledge of the zodiac in the course of the planets. And he inculcated the worship of God by fa fasting, prayer, alms, offerings, and tithes. We learn that a sacred presence appeared to Enoch and gave him instructions to preserve the wisdom of the antediluvians or the people from before the flood because with the exception of one family, they are all going to be destroyed by the forthcoming flood. And that family, of course, is Noah. The circumstances which occurred at that time are recorded in tradition which forms what has been called the Great Masonic Legend of Enoch, which runs to this effect. Enoch, inspired by the Most High, built a temple underground dedicated to God. The temple consisted of nine brick vaults situated perpendicularly beneath each other, and he caused a triangular plate of gold to be made, each side of which was a cubit long. On the plate, he engraved in ineffable characters the true name of deity and placed it on a cubical pedestal of white marble. Now, ineffable means too great or extreme to be expressed or described in words. So too, too great or too extreme to be described in words he used ineffable characters, and that's another, once again, sounds like hieroglyphics because it, um, you know, it's not using words, but it's uh, describing with characters. With the subterranean building completed, he made a door of stone attaching it to a ring of iron, which might occasionally be raised, but he was not permitted to enter it but once a year. And upon the death of Enoch, Methuselah, and Lamech, and the destruction of the world by a flood, all knowledge of this temple and the sacred treasure which it contained was lost until in later times it was accidentally discovered by another worthy of Freemasonry who, like Enoch, was engaged in building a temple on the same exact spot. Now we're at the part where these obelisks come in that um, you know we have an obelisk here with hieroglyphs on it the legend goes to inform us that Enoch had completed the subterranean temple fearing that the principles of the arts and science 
which he had cultivated would be lost in the flood. He received a prophetic vision and erected two pillars, one of marble and which is going to withstand the influence of fire and the other of brass to resist the action of water. It's uh, Enoch wasn't sure if the world would be destroyed by fire or by water. Um, obviously, the flood came, but uh, he constructed two. So, you know, we've got one that's good. The brass one's going to resist the water and we've got the marble one which is going to withstand the uh, fire on the pillar of brass he engraved the history of the creation the principles of the arts of the sciences and the doctrines of speculative freemasonry as they were practiced in his times so oops i flipped the page but the freemasons are saying that uh, uh enoch is practicing um the doctrine <laughs> enoch is practicing free freemasonry in his time on the one with marble, he inscribed the characters in hieroglyphics, importing that near the spot where they stood, a precious treasure was deposited in a subterranean vault. Adam's prediction that the world was to be destroyed at one time by the force of fire and another by the violence and quantity of water. They made two pillars. Uh, here it says brick and the other of stone. This is from uh, Joseph's account. So a little bit different account, but the same exact story that the pillar of brick should be destroyed by the flood and the pillar of stone might remain. So they did, you know, they're doing the same thing here. They're building two pillars, one of different type. And let's remember that uh, one is made of brick, according to this story. And it says that the one of brick still remains in the land of Syriad to this day. Now, the photos we're looking at are from Istanbul. Syriad is supposedly Egypt. But, um, you know, they, they are somewhat close. And it's possible that, that it says that these pillars remain in the land of Syriad to this day. Uh, it's just, you know, it rung a bell when I was looking at these pictures. Uh, especially when we see the other one of these towers. There's two of these here. One of them has hieroglyphs on it. And the other one is made of brick. So, you know, this is... Um, I, I don't know if this is the two towers that uh, Enoch built, but maybe they're replicas of them. <laughs> but it sounds awful, awful familiar. This one could be you know, white marble, and this one, is, you know, definitely made out of brick. Uh, one of them is inscri inscribed with hieroglyphs, and it's just a perfect match for what is described in the Encyclopedia of Freemasonry as to Enoch. And Enoch, having completed these labors, called his descendants around him to Mount Moriah, warned him about the uh, flood that there's coming because of the wickedness, and to return to the worship of the true God. Masonic tradition informs us that he then delivered up the government of the craft. So the, the government of Freemasonry to his grandson Lamech and disappeared from Earth. And Enoch is definitely one special guy. He's supposedly did not die. The Bible has the same account. And uh, just he walked with God. And this is, um, you know, of course, we get the same account from the Freemasons here in their encyclopedia. But moving on with the photos, let's keep that in mind as we're looking at these pillars with hieroglyphs. And we see that there's actually two pillars and they're, they're both made of different um, materials. And one of them has hieroglyphs. And we see these guys here, you know, and it's just, you could see... a. Uh, Again, the ruins here, just junk laying around. But the people in um, walking around, you could see here it's, uh, you know, sitting on the statue. Seemingly no idea. <laughs> they just seem out of place. It doesn't look like they certainly didn't build these. They didn't build these cities or these obelisks. And I don't know what's going on here, but it looks like a uh, might maybe a dog, but it looks like a looks like a black panther. I was definitely very intrigued by these two pillars that seem to match uh, 
the Freemasonry's encyclopedia of something that uh, Enoch may have built. A lot of pictures of them, and uh, you could see in the in the foreground there's, you know, just ruins here, ruins here all all over this whole area. This one is broken. It seems to be right in the middle between the two obelisks, and uh, it's called something about the serpent. We'll see that in a later photo, but it's obviously broken right there at the top. You know, there's you see cities like this, and it's like there's just dogs and cows roaming around in yeah maybe the maybe everyone's busy at work i i don't know but um it looks completely abandoned almost like the people who built these cities got raptured disappeared off the face of the earth and some uh, some other people just stumbled in didn't know what to do so they just sit on the ground and sit in the dirt here we have uh, looks like Jesus here, maybe Muhammad. I'm not sure. And uh, you know, big kind of Tartarian style looking architecture. Massive uh, aqueduct it appears to be here. Quite <laughs> quite the lengthy one. Another picture of it there go back to that for a second but it looks like a lot of work and just ruins it uh, once upon a time would have been new and would have been taken care of but not anymore and the stripes the black and white stripes that we'll see all over the architecture at Istanbul is quite similar to the uh, some of the stripes you could see at the Chicago Fair Here's a picture from Chicago and 1893 Chicago World Fair. And uh, you can see that same style of kind of black and white or at least striped, uh, you know, striped colors on the architecture. And it's uh, it, you'll see it quite a bit in Istanbul over here. So interesting that we see. Kind of some similar architectural influences from uh, Istanbul over in Chicago. Here we could look at this uh, size of the horse here to get just a grasp for how big this thing is. It has, uh, looks like it has wires running up it. Maybe they're using those for climbing up. I don't know, but just a massive antenna up here. Uh, maybe it's you know something to do with electricity i'm not sure but but look at the size of the horse this thing is huge and same thing massive building in the background and just there isn't a i mean one guy on a horse that's it nobody in sight just dirt everywhere it's uh it looks a it looks like an abandoned city almost this appears to be the same one picture of the same tower but look at all the debris in the foreground uh, it looks burned, but uh, definitely just lots of debris. I don't know what it's all from. Starfort style architecture here with the tiered, you know, uh, Starfort is what it is. And then beautiful looking uh, home, overgrown. I mean, it looks overgrown and not taken care of like it had just been sitting. This is probably the... I don't know if that's the same house or not, but beautiful home. Um, United States government building is what it would be if it was in the uh, over in the United States. More ruins. You can see there's a pile of ruins here and just uh, grass and all kinds of stuff growing up here. It looked like the top of the tower has been knocked off and um, probably architecture from different ages right there. A view of the Chateau de Europe, a massive castle and the castle standing on here. And I'm not sure if the castle is built by Tartarians, um, maybe, but castles are rad either way. And uh, these photographs are just mind blowing. Stuff like this is it's just awesome how it's completely overgrown. 
built by the ancient Tartarians is my speculation on that. And the modern day people just think it's a good idea to, you know, put a shack into one of them, I guess. Um, you know, look at the modern people's gate. They're just, they're like, I don't know. They're, they remind me of like homeless people in San Francisco who just could not really care about the their surroundings. They just trash it. They've got, you know, the junkiest st stuff you can imagine. And, but then they're surrounded by absolute splendor as far as the architecture and, and the ruins around them. Here's another picture of the same place, maybe at a different time, maybe a little further down the wall. Um, I, you know, looking like mud flood over here in a way. Uh, this would be a stove, though, it looks like, with the chimney coming up. And uh, But even over here, you know, I guess another chimney for a, another person's house. So probably not a mud flood there, but look at the size of a human. So you can get an idea that, you know, this thing is huge. Really a large, large wall beautiful architecture I like how it's overgrown it looks fascinating and here just complete and utter ruins I know these guys are having a good time but uh, who's responsible for the upkeep of the city because somebody's not doing a very good job and you know it's uh, this one looks Tartarian this one looks Tartarian this looks Tartarian uh, this looks like they built it, and it looks like it's about to uh, fall over. It looks like a Leaning Tower of Pisa. But, um, these, you know, some of the other architecture that we see in this photo looks l like it may have been built by Tartarians. Here we have ruins. This is very similar to a uh, tomb. And shout out to Olav over here. There is, uh, he has a video here on Kerch, and that's where this tomb is at. He'll, uh, here it is right here. So there's some more photos of it here. If I said Kerch tomb, you can see that, uh, the, the, the tomb here, which is interesting because if you look at a map of Tartary, very often you'll find this Al Chai area. The mountain of El Chai, where the sepulchers of the kings of Tartaria, so the tombs of the kings of Tartaria, and they're depicted as pyramid-looking structures. Uh, you can see they look like pyramids, uh, which is interesting because the Egyptians buried their kings in um, pyramids, and those are the you know the pyramids are tombs supposedly. But you can see that there is somewhat of a resemblance. Uh, how these are more. Um, the angle is much greater for than, than a regular pyramid, and that's the same thing that we see here. How that, uh, you know, it's a much more up here to the point than a regular pyramid is. Here's an old uh, painting of it, but um, we could see that is very similar to what we see in the photo right here. And so interesting. Uh, we'll see it in a number of these photos. This uh, same type of tomb style uh, is from from Kirk, the Kirch tomb. And again, check out uh, Olaf's channel for more information on uh, that these type of tombs and the city of Kirch. Moving on with the slideshow here. This one I thought was interesting because it's modern. It's a little bit more modern. We can see we got some machinery going on. Uh, but we could see the architecture of a previous time, uh, especially over here. And then you could see the, how the modern man is doing things. And look at his architecture. It is absolutely awful. So um, just funny how there's two different ages of architecture here. We've got the older style and the newer style. So newer is not always better. This one is just some ruins on the uh, massive ruins. It, it, very, very interesting city. I wish I could uh, go take a trip to Istanbul real quick. And being in the 1800s would be even better. Now, this tower is sure interesting. It's the uh, 
looks like we got Istanbul here. The uh, some kind of a tower that is old for sure, and it's all beat up. There's not. Uh, you can't even tell what it is anymore. It used to, you know, obviously used to be something, but the top is missing, and whatever. It just looks like junk now. It looks like there's rope or barbed wire wrapped around it or something. So interesting. Um, it's interesting pillar there, right in the middle of the city, and you can see some of the age of some of the architecture around it. It looks like a massive pile of just rubble over here. More ruins, and got a number of pictures of this tower just because it's a interesting tower right in the middle of the city. Here is uh, this building. I think we've seen it right towards the beginning, and uh, for you know, it just at first it looked kind of like a mud flooded building in a way. How it had those, you know, arches. This one, not too much going on except for it looks like pixel art, <laughs> and I thought that was cool. Up here it looks like pixel art, and same thing, pixel art it looks like it would fit in with Minecraft or something like that. And this is. The I think it's the same building, but uh, it looks like they're tr selling stuff. You know, it's they've got a broken head statue. They've got uh, uh, this statue is okay. This one's out here, just some random, just junk laying all over the place. And it looks like they're trying to sell it or clean the building out. Uh, you can see even more stuff. You know, for sale down here, or I don't know if it's for sale, but uh, this looks like a Roman soldier or something with the head and the arms missing, and just not sure what quite, quite what's going on there. They're trying to sell stuff, but uh, I think it's the same building and all the all the yeah. I guess they sold everything and moved out. I don't know. Here we have a Tartarian building. And a Tartarian dock. I'm going to just call it that, I suppose. It looks to be, you know, maybe the same thing here. And a better look at Enoch's pillar, if that's what it is. Um, but we have... Notice the sculpture down here on the bottom. Because there's another close-up of this with all these faces here. We'll get a few closer shots of that. Here it is. And... Um, you know, I couldn't quite make it out what it says down here. But anybody could have carved that in. Um, but uh, I was, you know, just wondering if this is Tartarian or... Is it... Did Enoch carve it or... I don't know. I wish I had more answers. Lots of uh, pictures of this pillar. And I included a lot of pictures because... It's a connection to Freemasonry and Enoch. This city looking like San, Fran um, San Francisco or, or Chicago, Chilaga, the World Fair cities is really what it looks like. And uh, I, I would think it was built by Tartarians. The same thing here. And I, probably just another angle of the same city. This one really looked like San Francisco's um, World Fair. There's some better pictures of it coming up. And here we can see the Tartarian architecture, or what I believe is Tartarian. And also note that it's quite old. You know, it's dirty down here, and the dock here is broken and starting to dip in. But nevertheless, quite the grand architecture. And another picture of it here, you can see everything's just cracked and looks looks quite old and abandoned. It seemed to be abandoned, but I guess Istanbul was not uh, necessarily abandoned. Another look at this amazing gate here. Maybe they were building it here, I'm not sure. It doesn't really look like it, you know. They got a couple of carts and a couple of piles of dirt. That's about it. And then you have 
just fascinating architecture here. Uh, they're making progress. They at least put up a fence, it looks like. But then you have this here, which I don't know. It looks something quite older. Or maybe a railroad track or a little canal. And this photo is nice because we have just a little bit more detail. Beautiful looking um, entrance or gate into the city. You can see the ocean and the ships out here. Even a little uh, floating house, a floating uh, island out here. There's another picture of that later on. Same gate. And, you know, magnificent um, Tartarian architecture is... Uh, you know, I don't know if that's mud flooded. Probably, I'm not sure about that. I don't think so. It seems like sometimes they just put arches down at the bottom of the building. Uh, maybe, like I said, to let light into the basement. We can see another picture of, it seems like, that gate right there. Going off into, you know, a lot more these buildings another angle of that one and uh, just ruins nothing but ruins this standing building here and I don't know what happened to this house it, that may, you know maybe there's a mud flood because this thing uh, looks like they just sunk right into the ground a massive hole here I don't know who would want to put a house so the so the roof is flush with the ground and signs of you know these guys just don't look they look out of place they you've got these old ruins stone huge massive stone canal abandoned not used anymore some cheap little cemetery over here they just put up a little wooden cross and call it good and just these massive stone towers with way you know more architecture way back here and then a, you know a bunch of folks just walking around in the dirt no idea what to do with all this stuff this one was interesting because for one <laughs> these guys seem to spend a lot of time in the cemeteries uh, we've seen the uh, look like some grave robbing earlier in the other one but um it looked like two different styles of headstones you can see the style here quite new quite new quite new but then look in the back. Look at this one. This one looks really old. You know, no writing on it or anything. Same thing with this one. No writing on it. It looks super old. This almost looks like an owl. I'm not sure what... I've just never really seen a headstone like this. If you look right here, it looks like it was hit with a bullet. Or uh, got, you know, lost a ch big chip out of it. A lot of the buildings in these photos look like they have some war damage. And again, just... You know, nice architecture, but it's going to ruin. And you got, you know, just chunks of rock sitting around. And these guys, you know, just I, maybe they're taking a pose for the picture, but they're just sitting around in the dirt. No idea what to do. And this one is pretty nice. What if the, uh, I, th I thought, where's the blueprint for this? Because the blueprint for this building it's got to be a nightmare. If you pass that off to a current architect, he probably would have one heck of a time <laughs> figuring out um, the blueprint for this building. That's going to give me a headache just thinking about it. Not too much to see here. A big building in the background, but um, I thought this guy was funny. He has seemingly missing his neck. He's just got shoulder straight Shoulder straight to chin, it looks like. I like some of the photos that have the people in them. It's kind of cool to see what they look like and how they were dressed. Try to find different people of different professions. This guy obviously is part of the government or something like that. Uh, we had a very similar photo to this one earlier. Just a really fascinating tower in the background. And this one is a different tower. And here we have three or four different generations of architecture. We have, first of all, we got just like dirt and stone in the road and rubble, pile of rubble. We've got this old, old ruins here. Something much newer that's a complete piece of junk. 
uh, probably a different age here on this piece, and this one is the you know totally something different. So just a nice mix of uh, really old stuff and. The funny thing is the newest stuff is always the junkiest and uh, the worst architecture. Ruins down here. And that'd be cool to have. Yeah, in the United States, it's not quite as easy, but uh, it'd be cool to, you know, live modern right alongside some of that ancient architecture. This one looks a little bit more like Italy, but, uh, you know, taking the boats through the city. Castle in the background. Uh, just ruins is all it, all you could say about they just ruins. Maybe there was a war. That's why I'm not sure, but it's a little wooden cart and just destroy like just uh, destroyed the thing we got some kind of a pillar left and that's about it this one is really interesting because here we look like we have an arch that had got filled in at some point but uh, we also have a pentagram right here so in just a interesting house some interior you could see the condition of the interiors of these buildings. Once upon a time, immaculate and elegant. And uh, I don't know if just nobody ever took care of it or if it got abandoned and repopulated. Huge Tartarian style, World Fair style building. And another one. And another one. Or, you know, maybe it's the same one, but you could see the, uh, yeah, it looks like the same, uh, the same one as this one, but you could see the triangular over the, you know, over the doorway, over the arch piece that we see and so many Tartarian architecture, a, some kind of a tower just seems like it's abandoned, getting overgrown. Some more Tartarian looking type of architecture uh, over in Constantinople. And this is another one, you know, I just try, I'm trying to figure out where the, uh, why they just sit around and hang out in, <laughs> in graveyards. Um, it doesn't look like they're taking care of it. All the headstones are falling over and they don't seem to be burying anybody either. They're just smiling and having a good old family time, I guess. Beautiful ruins. And you can see arches, arches, arches. I don't know if... You know, there probably used to be water down here or something. And just massive uh, towers and ruins. I'm not sure what this is, but... It looks like Jesus here. We can see the halo around his head. Again, maybe it's Muhammad, but interesting to note that it's super old. Um, but again, in this old piece of art, w w whatever it is, I don't. It must be architecture. It looks like this might be two doorways or something. But you could see the uh, same style of architecture in this art. You know, you got the the archway here with the little bit of architecture there. That's. I'm not sure. They seem to be Tartarian. Um, another interesting cemetery here. I think it's a cemetery, but again, all the headstones are falling over, and then, and then you got this tower here. Uh, electrical wire going up. It looks like, and more ruins. Absolutely ancient. I mean, that thing's got to be hundreds, hundreds of years old. It's funny to see the uh, city, and then right in the middle of the city, you've got this, you know, completely out of place uh, architecture, this tower. I don't know what it was used for, but uh, from a much, much different time than the buildings all around it. And this looks like a boat. I don't know if it's a boat or if it's just the uh, a little island out there. 
but uh, you could see a little houseboat or something like that. So on this one, it's pretty interesting just because it's the... Uh, I'm not sure what style of writing this is, but it's not what we would typically find in Istanbul. A good, nice place for a gazebo hangout. It's a cool little gazebo, it looks like. And old. You can see how old the this uh, construction is but quite a beautiful building right there and here's another picture of it these guys look like they come outside to sit down on a wall and have their picture taken must be might be the same building here and I mean the whole thing's in ruin I mean everything around here is just junk it looks like just junk everywhere This one is a really old ruins. Look at the arches over here that are just filled in now with probably mud. Uh, this one would could definitely be a mud flooded uh, city of some type or star fort. What? Either one. Look at like the uh, look like the eagle up here with an all seeing eye or. At least the 10,000 rays of light coming out of it. And another one of these uh, old castles, which may or may not be Tartarian. But whenever you find that elegant architecture, it definitely seems to be. This one, of course, just an old, super old ruins. There used to be, you know, stuff up here that's all gone now and... Again, these people don't seem to be the one, you know, the ones who came after the people who built this. It doesn't line up. It look like these people seem to be they just happened to discover it. But why would they be ancestors of the people who built this? Didn't their grandparents teach them to take care of to take care of the place? Well, once again, we got all the arches down here overgrown. A building uh, completely abandoned and in ruins, grass growing on the ceiling, and the tower is broke, you know, broke, breaking into pieces. Definitely a candidate for the mud flood theory here. Uh, it's, but, you know, you got these big, maybe some mud came in on that one. And this one, you know, here is, again, these people don't look like they belong here or they do not look like they're ancestors of the people who used to live here. I mean, this thing is beautiful architecture at one point. It looks like in complete ruins now. But these guys are, you know, just walking amongst it. And, uh... Looks like more more like they just inherited the city or f found it uh, empty or something. Or maybe they just won the war and took it over. This is at the base of the Enoch's, uh, <laughs> Enoch's obelisk, I guess is what I'm calling it for the moment. But, uh, you know, face missing here and very, very old. I wonder if that's Noah's family or a depiction of it. Picture of the one that's built out of brick. And you can see just the old ruins in the foreground. A couple of buckets over here. I don't know why the buckets are interesting. Um, they probably aren't. And here is uh, some architecture that certainly is beautiful. Beautiful intricate and uh you know aged you could see they it's not uh anything new quite old most likely built by tartarians i thought this one was funny because i don't know what it's for just a huge tower uh, but it looks like a battery i'm not saying it is a battery i just it looks like you know it looks like a um a c or a d battery 
just the shape of it and the uh, top piece up here. Another picture of the same tower, part of this big castle. And here, just you can see it has the same uh, profile as a battery. Uh, I said, maybe, what what it was its purpose for it be so huge? And um, I guess just to keep watch, make sure the enemy wasn't coming. But what if it was the Master Duracell? You could see windows and some kind of, I don't know, maybe they shot arrows out of it. Star Fort looking type of uh, castle here. And again, that tomb style of uh, that seems to be here at a maybe, a, you know, the priest or I, I don't know what to call them for there over in Istanbul, but looks like a church or something along those lines. And the ladders always I find interesting because they've always got ladders set up. But then I'm like, did they really build all this architecture with just ladders? Just a big, massive building. And old. You know, looks abandoned. Looks, I mean, who's... There's really nobody around. Maybe everybody runs out of the frame for when he takes a picture, but... You know, you see something like this, and it looks like the World Fair. The type of building that they would just throw up real fast for the uh, World Fair. And... Just a couple people walking around. I guess everybody's busy on the other side doing architectural work. This one is a pretty cool picture uh, with the old ruins. You can see the old arches down here that were f filled in, and then this one maybe not filled in. So I guess a river run through here at one point, but not anymore. It's, again, just everything has fallen into ruins. Doesn't look like anybody took care of the place. Beautiful building. And again, that stripe, we see that striped, just like we've seen in, uh, in Chicago. Here's a cool view of the obelisk again. And it looks like a tomb here and uh, a sarcophagus or something. It's broken into pieces and the lid's obviously been slid off and then you got a chicken running around you know so it's just <laughs> these people never seem to they don't seem to really belong here and it seems to be at least abandoned and in the process of being repopulated by a uh, uncivilized not that smart type of people in a way Here's a dam, and there might be a little water here, but, I mean, the dam looks completely empty and dry. Uh, ruins of towers as far as the eye could see. And another shot of those towers. Towers and ruins as far as you could see. And just uh, llamas, or maybe a llama or a dog. And cows, grazing animals, it's been, you know, it's been overtaken by um, animals. And from here, it looks, looks like you're, you know, here's the old ancient star fort style of architecture right up to the water. And then the Tartarian buildings in the background. And these guys, you know, sitting around in the ruins, not sure what to do with themselves. They're going to climb a tree. And uh, so you see everyone climbing a tree down here. But in the backdrop, you know, they've built their little houses in the footsteps of giants. Here you've got the great architecture in complete ruins. And, uh, you know, they've built some, they built something down here. It looks like you can go inside. There's someone, looks like they've built a house or something over here. And it goes inside of that structure. 
I wonder what, you know, all these were supporting what was... I wonder what used to be here once upon a time. Um, obviously a building here that's gone. And just arches hanging off of nowhere. And this looks like an old cemetery. Maybe I'm wrong, but they look like headstones. Ancient headstones. Funny thing about a lot of these pictures is that the trees are like just completely dead and burnt. You can see up here it looks burned. And, you know, just like stripped, stripped clean. But then right behind it, the architecture is immaculate. The same thing here, the, you know, just. This one was interesting because it has the, it has a pillar st sticking out of the window. And I was trying to figure out why do you have a pillar coming out of the window right here, a column. These guys looking down at the old ruins. You can see the ruins down here and just... I mean, these ruins are so old, they've almost disappeared into the ground as... Uh, to be completely buried and looks like just nature again. But there definitely used to be buildings here a long time ago. And same thing out here. You have just massive buildings, overgrowing, not taken care of, and the horses are moving in to take over. The detail on some of this stuff is outstanding and the size of the buildings are again outstanding and I I think about you know uh, well here's a good example you've got this looks like they're actually building something now the guys up here risking their necks you know you can't mess up you're gonna fall down to your death obviously or at least break your legs and uh, we could see them querying some stones here they've got some stone blocks out and it looks like they're bringing them up by using this wooden crane and then they're climbing up top on these dinky little ladders here so you know it looks like they're building something here but I just think about the power tools that we have nowadays and with all of our power tools what <laughs> you know these guys are running around with nothing and uh, we have all of these power tools and we, you know, engines and motors and all this stuff and everything, and we we can't come close to building anything like this. But these guys, you know, go around no problem. I don't know what this building is, but the roof is turned into grass, and it's a, just growing grass off the roof. Interesting looking stonework through here. Uh, but just old as can be, and the shape on this tower is... is Lose me what it's for. I don't know why a chimney would get you know real big like that at the top. More ruins, old castles. This is uh, that serpent. I guess it used to be a serpent or serpent statue maybe. Here it is. It says uh, the calling a serpentine so I'm not sure what this is but you can see there's like broken pieces of it down here it looks like and uh, it's right between the two obelisks in that city and I think we're back at the first images now and that was a lot of images to go through but they're all very interesting it looks like I have a uh, 163 photos here but as I said earlier this uh, archive of photos is 374 pages long I only got through about 50 or 60 of them and that's what we took a look at I just you know pulled out the most interesting ones so uh, looks like there was Tartarians in Istanbul and if nothing else I enjoyed the photographs because architecture and, and the ruins are um, just fascinating. And 
like I was talking about earlier, I can't figure out why with all of our power tools and supposedly an overpopulated Earth, so we have all the manpower, why can't we do anything even close to this? Um, not That one's blowing my mind. I can't figure out why we're so uh, behind the curve architecturally. We think we're so advanced with our computers and cell phones and all that nonsense, but then, you know, you look at history and you say, we're not as good as we think we are. <laughs>